Mazda may not sell a vast number of MX-5 models, but that hasn't deterred the brand from relentlessly pursuing sports car perfection at a relatively affordable price. The fourth-generation ND version features an incredibly well-balanced chassis, precise steering, an impressive power-to-weight ratio, sharp looks, and the classic MX-5 fold-away roof. Yet, Mazda's engineers have continued to refine the 35-year-old formula even further, resulting in the ND3. The 2024 update to the Indy MX-5 isn't groundbreaking but is certainly significant. It includes a new steering rack, an optional asymmetric limited slip differential, a new DSC track mode, and a refreshed interior with an updated infotainment system. Mazda invited us to the California Bay Area to spend the weekend with the updated MX-5 in club trim and to explore some R&D department gems on display at the Hillsboro Concourse event. Stay tuned for our report on that. Exterior. Subtle aesthetic tweaks. When Mazda introduced the ND generation, some lamented that it wasn't as friendly looking as its predecessor. MX-5 Miatas are known for their smiling faces, and the latest models have a slightly more aggressive appearance. Nevertheless, it remains compact, nearly two inches shorter than the original NA Miatas from 30 years ago. Through clever engineering, it weighs just 2,341 pounds with the manual transmission and a soft top. This is remarkable considering the 1996 NA generation weighed 2,160 pounds, and the new model includes numerous federally mandated safety and emissions features, along with extra performance equipment and a few luxury items. Die-hard Miata fans will notice that the 2024 Mazda MX-5 features new headlights and rear light clusters, though the changes are subtle. Our test model came in Zircon San Metallic Paint, a $450 upgrade available only on the top two trims, along with the new Aero Gray. Mazda's signature Soul Red Crystal Metallic is a $595 upgrade for the two lower trims. While we find most of the premium colors uninspiring, the Soul Red Crystal Metallic and Deep Crystal Blue Mica stand out beautifully. Mazda needs to expand its color palette for the MX-5 instead of following the trend of muted blues, grays, and beiges. All MX-5 Miata models come standard with LED headlights and taillights, DRLs, an aluminum hood and trunk lid, a black cloth soft top, and 16-inch wheels on the base model. The mid-range model includes additional features. Interior. Meaningful enhancements. At first glance, the interior of the 2024 MX-5 Miata looks similar to the 2023 model, but it includes several quality-of-life improvements. The center console has extra padding, which taller drivers will appreciate, and the revised gauge cluster features simplified, high-contrast graphics for better readability, especially for long-sided drivers. The 8.8-inch infotainment display is larger than before and touch-sensitive when using Apple CarPlay and Android Auto both of which are now wireless. A dial on the center console controls all other functions. Mazda believes that touchscreens aren't ideal for cars, so the automaker positions the screen further back on the dashboard to keep the driver's eyes closer to the road. This approach works well in most cases, but it's less convenient when using touch for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as the icons are small and require reaching out. While the dial works fine for CarPlay, it can require a lot of scrolling. Under the hood, Classic Mazda Precision. The MX-5 is powered by a 2.0-liter Skyactiv-G four-cylinder engine, delivering 181 horsepower and 151 lbft of torque. Mazda believes this is the perfect amount for the lightweight, small car, and they're right. Running on either P195-50 R16 or P205-45 R17 high-performance summer tires, the MX-5 is designed for fun on back roads or the track, not for drag racing or difficult handling. Despite the modest horsepower, the MX-5 doesn't need more to deliver an exhilarating driving experience. The MX-5 is also budget-friendly. During our mix of freeway and city driving, we achieved an indicated 30 miles per gallon, which is impressive considering the fun we had. Fun on a budget perfectly describes this car. On the road, the joy of driving. We love the MX-5 in any generation, but the ND and ND3 represent the pinnacle of the series. It's quick off the line, the manual transmission makes driving a delight, and the perfectly balanced chassis invites any driving style. It's a classic sports car with modern design and engineering, 
executed nearly to perfection. You can read our previous test drive feedback to see how much joy this car brings to driving. With the 2024 updates, the new steering is even better, especially noticeable at higher speeds on the freeway. It's easier to keep the car in a straight line and smoothly navigate sweeping bins, which is sure to be beneficial on the track. The new DSC track mode on the MX-5 Miata Club models is likely to be a blast as well. Our MX-5 Miata Club tester came with the Brembo slash BBS Recaro package, which includes Mazda's new asymmetric LSD. The most immediate difference was the increased confidence in how aggressively the new LSD locks up under engine braking, enhancing stability. This makes the ND3 more confidence-inspiring on back roads where unwanted understeer can be dangerous. It also improves acceleration out of corners, making it feel more progressive and controllable as throttle is applied. The MX-5 now defies the physics of its short wheelbase by eliminating inherent twitchiness and unwanted oversteer. Of course, when you want some oversteer or understeer, it's right there and easily controllable. Conclusion the best MX-5 yet. We call it the best MX-5 yet, but each MX-5 iteration has been the best in its time. Some might argue that the third generation, NC, was a bit of a miss, but that's debatable. The ND3 builds on the existing ND platform and enhances the driving dynamics even further. Should you trade in your ND for an ND3 immediately? Probably not. The improvements justify Mazda's excitement, but they don't render the previous version obsolete. In fact, even the first or second generations aren't obsolete. However, if you've been waiting for the update, it's a no-brainer. Go buy one. Our only issues with the 2024 Mazda MX-5 are the colors and the infotainment system. While experts have worked on bridging Mazda's approach to touch screens with Apple and Google integration, we'll just say that it is what it is. However, the dull premium colors are a miss for us. This is a fun car, Mazda. Give it more exciting colors than just red and blue. The icing on the cake for the 2024 Mazda MX-5 Miata is its price. A base sport model starts at just $28,985 before options and a $1,185 destination fee. While the excellent club trim we tested has an MSRP of $32,485. Even the top-of-the-range Grand Touring model is under $35,000, $34,285. There aren't many cars at this price point that offer so much in terms of fun, driving pleasure, fuss-free commuting, and a wealth of features. There's a reason the Miata has a cult-like following across all its generations, and the latest models are likely to gain just as many fans. The 2024 Mazda MX. 5 Miata continues to embody the spirit of the classic roadster with its blend of thrilling performance, sleek design, and excellent value. Here's an in-depth look at what makes the latest iteration of this beloved sports car stand out. Design and Exterior The 2024 MX-5 Miata retains its iconic silhouette, combining timeless roadster lines with modern touches. While the overall shape remains familiar, the new model features updated headlights and rear light clusters, giving it a refreshed look without straying too far from its heritage. The car's compact dimensions and lightweight construction remain key to its charm, with the manual transmission model weighing in at just 